Poetry Bio of Richard Del Connor. Richard was born in the Pacific Beach town. After he was born, they tore the hospital down. That was February 4th, 1954. He grew up in San Diego, knowing he wasn't rich, but not knowing he was poor. As a straight-A gifted student, he was on the Regis Philbin show. Men in black suits gave him IQ tests, letting him know he was in the top 2% of the tests in the closets, but his parents thought it was best Richard not skip grades or join those Mensa elitists. So Richard pursued science on his own, collecting and dissecting in his Allied Gardens home. Until age 10, when his science was stopped, his rocket blew a hole through the patio roof. Age 10, he began trombone. The piano was boring. His poetry was published in San Diego, and he began school-by-school lecture touring. In 1966, at age 12, Richard discovered rock. This would be the language his soul would learn to talk. Age 16, in 1970, Richard moved to Newfoundland, St. John's, where he began writing his own unique poetic folk rock song. He was the singing star of a movie, and on CBC, in 1971, he graduated Prince of Wales Collegiate. 1972, Richard escaped Newfoundland and hitchhiked home. Across the Canadian plains, over the Rocky Mountains, then down the Pacific coast, along the cliffside foam. With his cowboy hat and thumb out, going home, to become a four-year apprentice of the Carpenters Brotherhood Union. 1974, Richard graduated the RIAA school to become a recording engineer at Bonita Recording Studio. In 1977, he graduated a journeyman carpenter after four years of night school to win in 1978 the KPRI Battle of the Bands while moving to Los Angeles from San Diego. 1979, Richard was the bassist singer of the rich, Get their 1979 album, Live in Venice. Perhaps it was punk rock or pop, real hard, until by 1984 they evolved in a rock, into a rock opera, a romantic fantasy in a hospital called Coyote in a Graveyard, attracting compliments from Steven Spielberg, and joined on stage by Michael J. Fox. The screenplay was rewritten by Richard for New World Pictures as he founded Shaolin Records where Buddha rocks. In 1987, Richard graduated UCLA, preparing to divorce his wife, who he met at UCLA, to begin his life again as a rock star in 88, performing nightclubs on acoustic guitar style, original songs with his kung fu smile, also performing concerts on electric guitar or in the Coyote Graveyard Band for a while, shooting concerts, photojournalist of Newspaper Guild 69, Rocktography by the Coyote was his photographer byline. In 1990, Richard decided to have a daughter. As a Mr. Mom working from home, he taught her to play drums, keyboards, and sing. He got her an organ, a flute, and art training. She started traditional Shaolin Kung Fu at age four. At age 14, she chose Mom in the divorce. Dad never taught her anymore. With years of experience in homeschooling, Richard was inspired to create the best Tai Chi youth teaching children and teens to communicate the program teaching leaders to focus and concentrate. After years of teaching, it is easy to state that Tai Chi youth can improve the future, reducing anger and reducing hate. Then in 2008, Buddha Jen created the Buddha Kung Fu School. Doable for Americans was the marketing tool. This makes Richard Del Connor the founder of three Kung Fu systems, Shaolin Chi Manus, Buddha Kung Fu, and Tai Chi Youth Nonprofit Education. As Mr. Mommy wrote lots of books, reading them to his children as he cooks. RDC is marketed, distributed by Shaolin Communications to publish his books and oriental traditions. He's just published his first book in paperback. It's called Masonic Kung Fu on the Amazon book rack. Richard's writing the first of eight books, Buddhist poetry. He explains the Four Noble Truths in philosophy, 
with comedy. Richard produces the Buddhist rock group American Zen. Check out their Kung Fu Cowboy Folk Rock album. In, 19, in 2015, Richard won Movie Festival per the first place <laughs> for his Kung Fu Cowboy Rock and Roll 1 screenplay. <clears throat> Richard's finishing his book, Act Zen to be Zen. He directs and teaches actors how to be happy again. Watch for his books. He writes as Buddha Jen, too. His Chinese name is Jen Shen Long, Spirit Wolf of Truth. Tai Chi beginner is required reading in his Tai Chi classes, but if no one can fight with their Tai Chi, no one passes. Buddha Jen is the author and founder of the Shaolin Chi Mantis Society. Traditional Buddhist Kung Fu, Taoist Tai Chi Xuan, and Confucian Strategy.